So good evening folks, as you can see I'm going to be playing Hardpoint this time, another game type within Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Now this I'm thinking could be maybe a bit of a competitive game mode. So I thought, yeah, do you know what, I'm going to give it a try. This is my first time trying it out. Um, I like the way that all the weapons were unlocked and available. So it's a bit more of an even playing ground, so if someone wants to use that super OP weapon, go for it. I like that, it, you know, if, if you want to try it on a basic gun, which I have. This is a very early kind of um, SMG style weapon. I spot a couple of players running from what I assumed was their spawn, and now catch one, two, and the third off guard there. I was pretty lucky on that third kill, but uh, I did get tagged up by a nade, but I spot that uh, little red dot on the UAV, <clears throat> and assume there was a player pushing me, and there we go. I catch a good couple off guard, and I'm pretty lucky there, but, you know, I think that general game sense kind of uh, came through. But yeah, as I was saying, this uh, SMG for me, I thought, okay, I saw NVC trying out in his video, I thought, ah, that could be quite good, it's got a nice feel to it. There's not a great amount of recoil. But uh, it feels like it can work. So, obviously, trying out the range. It didn't quite work behind the guy on the uh, white van, but I do get my flashes out. Eventually, push my way up, do drop down flex, and now look to take it further. Spotting a player just to my right, follow it up onto Templar 2. Now, obviously, unlocking that. I think it's a dragonfly thing, you know, that, that crazy little thing that spins around. I thought it was a UAV at this point, so I, I think I call that in eventually. But, um, yeah, here we go. So, you know the old kind of uh, saying that women can't drive? Well, do you know what? We really can't fly either. No one should trust me in this thing because really, look at me. I'm just like, I, I, I look like I'm a dragonfly drunk. I'm just like smashing into things. It's, it's not ideal, is what I'm going to say. Dragon fire, that's it. Now, I see what they did there. They made a good play on words. Clever developers. But yes, the weapons, the feel, the game type. Okay, the game type, it's pretty much dominate this point. Rather than having three, so it's very kind of... Um, progressive as you saw in domination it's a little bit more kind of focused which i like it's a little it feels a little less random if i'm honest with you um basically you have to get your team as a collective towards one point defend it capture it and then it moves but you move as a collective and as a team which is it feels a little bit different i'm not constantly being back raped and being outgamed by pure positioning um it feels that it's more dependent on my ability uh, and i think this is the first time i've actually felt uh, this could be competitive so there we go, that's out of the way, my bad attempt at flying is done and dusted, so let's get back into the action with that SMG nice and close range. So obviously you can see that hard point counter up there, I'm just going to call in a strike because I'm a big public noob. Spin around, do get the tag, and there we go, flew up onto the frag, onto Templar once again, pushing further in, relying on that uh, hip fire, but I knew it would work. I, I have a little bit of faith in this game now, I'm not completely like, oh, I don't know if I trust you. It's, you know, we're past that kind of untrusting stage in our relationship, we're growing. <laughs> But, you can see my team obviously have locked down that site that I'm just about to run around to. Obviously that Defender little logo's come up. And now I push forward, thinking, okay, I'll try out that pistol, I'll see what it's like. And well, it's pretty OP. Um, but nevertheless, I do get the frag there, but I do think I get caught off guard here by just being a little bit baffled, more than anything. Um, there we go, get my strike in. And here we are. So obviously the lightning strikes and things like that do need to be reduced. They're not something I would ever want to see in real competitive play. It's fun to play about with on public, but that needs to stop. And I'm sure it will be, in like the ESL rule sets and bits like that, that'll be gone, done and dusted, and we can move on and try and enjoy this game. But as I was saying, as a, as a player, is, is the aspect I've kind of come into this game from, rather than a shoutcast caster into this specific game, um, I'm actually enjoying it. I feel it's very much dependent on my um, abilities rather than a little bit of lucky spawns. Um, as, I, as I don't want to sound arrogant, I'm not a bad player. I'm not the best, don't get me wrong. I think I get absolutely owned pretty soon here. Yeah, and my bad aim shines through. And I think I get dropped pretty soon. There we go. Fair enough, I deserve to go down there in a room full of balls. I don't want anyone to make a pun about that, please. But uh, going forward now, I'm starting to kind of get the idea of how I play this game type as well. I'm trying to use the objectives to my advantage. I don't want to put myself inside the site. I think I'd be better roaming around. Obviously, get the tag and the frag there. On to Reese and now look for more. Push around the outside, utilizing lean that I'm seeing a lot of kind of newer players called not using, which I'm finding baffling. You know, leaning is a huge, huge benefit to yourselves. And I'm super lucky to pick up that frag onto Reese. I did not deserve it. I challenged at a stupid point, and there we go. I get punished for it. And this is the first time I'm really being punished for my mistakes in this game. Which I like, that's what makes it feel competitive to me, that I can't get away with it. It's not just, you know, if someone, you know, spawn behind me, they kill me. It's if I aim badly and put myself too aggressively into a situation like that, I'll get killed. So it's kind of making me think a bit more, kind of making me learn, trying to get me to be a bit more competitively minded, 
which is the first time I've really felt that. So, you know, it's starting to kind of sink in here that, okay, maybe I can't take this so lightly. Maybe I have to start playing a little bit smarter and just kind of find my place within this game type because yeah, you never know. This could be the one they pick. I'm hearing a lot of words about, you know, uh, capture the flag, which would be great. I love a bit of CTF, really heavily focused on that team play element, which I think can be phenomenal for the spectators as well. Um, coming at this from a shout casting point of view, this could be fun to cast. You know what I mean? It, as a spectator, it's fun to watch. So, obviously, my enjoyment comes, you know, bouncing off you guys, pretty much. And if you guys are enjoying it, I'm enjoying it, vice versa. And this fast-paced action is exactly what Call of Duty needs. None of this kind of dull, let's sit in a corner for three hours kind of thing. I want to see frags left, right, and center. And people are saying, oh, but the respawn thing, it seems really kind of pubbish. Go play Enemy Territory. Go play RTCW. Tell me that respawning is noobish and public, you know? It's it's just different, and I want people to kind of get that idea in their head that this can work. Now, I'm not saying this game type will work. I'm saying that, actually, for what it is so far, it's not bad. Guys, it really isn't. Give it a chance. Do not do the whole, it's not search and destroy, it's going to be bad. I say that as I die to what looks like Harry Potter's spell from, I don't know, the Prisoner of Azkaban there, but, you know, we'll, we'll move on from that and move forward as a, as a, as a, as a team. But... Going back into this one, obviously you can see I'm doing okay with the SMG so far. I'm, I'm feeling that it's kind of working to my abilities and my skill set through Call of Duty 4. I'm starting to feel the usage of the kind of additional elements of hipfire bonuses. You know, in Call of Duty 4, I could never depend this much on hipfire. I never would have gone into that situation like I did then. And I like seeing it, you know. Uh, it, it adds a new element or something that was once in, you know, the previous Call of Duty back into it. Um, obviously I do catch a glimpse there of someone t absolutely destroying my team, and I feel quite guilty, so I obviously chuck myself back into that situation and get back into this game. And now, uh, obviously moving forward, I'm trying to check my corners, obviously very unaware of this map. I think I did actually spot a player down there, don't realise it. There we go, get absolutely backraged by Dur winning, and well, that's how it goes. Now I'm starting to get an idea of where the hell I am on this map. Spin around, do get the assist, but not the frag. Cole will pick that one up, as now I try and make my way towards that capture point. And uh, obviously leaning around these corners, a massive thing. Why did why did Black Ops players not lean this much? Is it because it wasn't in the previous titles? Do you will you be using it more? Will you try and work it into a game style? You know, let me know, guys. If you're a Black Ops player, you know originally, or maybe something further on for Call of Duty Four, because that's where I cut off my point of evolving with the Call of Duty series. I stopped there. And you know, is is leaning a new kind of element to you? Is it something that's going to take a while for you to get used to? Let me know in the comments, guys. I will always be reading them and commenting back. But um. Yeah, so far, this game type to me looks promising. This is the first time I've played it, mind. And this is the only time I've played it. But compared to Domination and other such things, this feels a little bit more focused. So now, obviously, entering a site like this, I feel that I'm already at a disadvantage here. And uh, there we go, do spot the player just jumping around, making myself in an awkward position for him to try and retaliate. But I think I do get caught off guard pretty soon. There we go, absolutely destroyed by a mine. But, yeah, you know, it happens. But guys out there, what, what type of game modes would you like to see being played competitively? Do you want Search and Destroy? Are you, you know, being that hard-headed? You don't want to change because, well, it was good before, why change something that worked? Or do you think there's room for improvement? Do you think the spectators these days want something a little bit more fast-paced, want something a little bit more visually impressive? As, as much as I appreciate, you know, that critical, you know, double frag that you may get in Search and Destroy, the casual player won't understand why that's so important, but, you know, if you get, you know, that nice push where you get that five-man in quick succession, they understand it, you know what I mean? So, I want to know your thoughts, though, guys, because you'll be the people playing this. I'll be the person talking about you playing it, but nevertheless, you'll be the guys out there on the front line rather than myself. So do let me know your thoughts on what you want to be played. What will suit this game as a competitive eSport? Rather than, oh, let's, you know, mould what we previously learned onto this game and then go, actually, this game's bad. No, that's, that's not how it works, guys. That's never been how it worked. You've just got to go with what you get and just uh, try and find what fits best. I'm not good at throwing nades. Let's just leave that there and ignore that ever happened. I think I was a little bit ashamed of myself. But nevertheless, this is the first time I've really enjoyed this game with something that could work in maybe, you know, a 4v4 element, 5v5. Five something like that and a lot of people are whinging about the 4v4 thing rather than being 5 on 5 I'm willing to try new things I'm sorry guys I'm bored of the same old Call of Duty I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna put it out there I really am I think we've got room to learn from possibly you know the Xbox players I, I hate saying that I feel bad in myself saying it but I think there's room to learn and I think we're gonna start learning here in Templar just exchanging frags but I want to see how we do, guys. This is this is it at the end of the day. What do you want to see from this game? How can we as a community adapt to what's in front of us? Because, you know, if you don't adapt, you end up being left, you know, pretty much redundant. 
at the end of the day. And that's what I look at the old games and see happening. That you know the games that I love and adore just don't seem to be applicable anymore. Simple as that, you know. And, and the new game types aren't bad. It's just different. And obviously, I'm not showing you these videos as a kind of testament to me being a good player. It's just so you guys kind of get a feel of what possible competitive modes could be used. But yeah, guys, do let me know. What do you think as a game type could work? Do you think maybe this could be a possibility? Do you think it's more dependent on CTF, which I hopefully will be bringing you next time and try and show you a little bit more of objective style gameplay, maybe with a team with me, maybe not, maybe just a couple of friends here and there. But guys, what do you want to see in the next couple of videos? The questions and the answers are pretty much aligned with yourself as to what content you want coming up. But Crossfire, let me know. You guys are hard to please, don't get me wrong, but come on guys, you're, you're the best of there is out there as a kind of esports community. In my mind personally, you know, I, I love Call of Duty, don't get me wrong, I always have as a community, but ET was, you know, the game that kind of brought me into FPS and I think you know I deserve to give well it deserves to have something given back to it so guys what do you want from this let me know